Can you take, could you possibly take that off? Because you, I can't hear you. Uh, how's the storm impacting the spread of the coronavirus? We know the National Guard was deployed to help with uh, the pandemic, but now yeah. they're redeploying for this. Well, they're doing a very good job down here with respect to that and uh, even pre-storm, but I'll ask John Bell to say a few words about that, John. Well, thank you. Obviously, we, we didn't like losing much of this past week with our community-based uh, testing. Uh, we're still reporting more than 10,000 tests a day, uh, but on Monday we will resume our community and surge testing across the state of Louisiana using the National Guard. Of course, our hospitals and clinics continue to test every single day, uh, but, but we don't like uh, not testing. We're, we're going to turn that back in on Monday, which is why we have all 62 of our National Guards mobilized today is because they're doing uh, the cleanup, they're cutting the trees down, they're, they're distributing food and water and ice and tarps. Uh, they're managing warehouses, they're, they're delivering generators, and on Monday they're going to start testing as well. So, so I appreciate the question, but we're going to get right back on. Mr. President, why is your administration turning on the EPA air monitors to check for toxic chemicals coming from some of the refineries and chemical plants around here? Chad, you want to answer that question? Is that something that you're tracking? Uh, I, I, I don't know the answer to that. I can, I can get you uh, the answer on what uh, we're doing locally. But, uh, well, I, I can tell you ground uh, on Thursday, I'm sorry, on Friday. Uh, it might have been Thursday. I, I lose track of time. They've been on the ground with the EQ in the Lake Charles, West Lake Sulphur area monitoring for air quality. Um, so they, they've been here since the day the storm hit. Uh, I'm quite certain of that. Okay. Do you think they'll be coming more frequent because of climate change? Yeah, we're going to have to take it. Go ahead, just take it over. Well, that was the question I asked these folks. Uh, are the storms more frequent? Are they bigger? Uh, now, in all fairness, uh, you probably had your biggest storms. I think you said your biggest one was in the 1800s, but who knows? Who knows? It might have been a very small storm by comparison, right? There's no way of really understanding that or knowing that. But uh, look, the area's been a storm area. There are tremendous advantages to being here. People love it. That's why they would never leave. They wouldn't even think about leaving. One thing I have, I've met a lot of people. Not one person would even think about it. I think if they ever even suggested it, that would be the end of them, right? So, uh, this is home. This is home. Uh, John, would you like to answer that question? They're talking about the storms and frequency. Do you see a difference? Well, let, let me first, um, as the cooperation of the press. I know it was a 20-foot storm surge, but nine feet didn't chop wood. It did an extraordinary amount of damage. Scope a lot of snow, and it wasn't just wind damage. Nine feet is devastating. And I, I flew over yesterday in Lake Charles. There may be a structure or two that won't get damaged, but I haven't seen it. Uh, this thing was 600 miles wide. The train was, was, was 400 miles wide. We're thankful we didn't get a 20 foot storm surge. So imagine nine feet of water coming through that door right now. We're all dead. And that's what came through. And it's not just Lake Charles and south of here, it goes all the way up north of here, bends over across the state. Uh, it's just about every one of our congressional districts. So this is a, this was, you know, Katrina. People heard more about it because the, the levees broke. But this is as bad as I've ever seen, folks. And I have heard that if the path was different, we got lucky in a sense. Maybe not for the people in the way, but frankly, we got a little bit lucky. If the path were over a little bit more one way or the other, this could have been by far the worst storm, the worst hurricane you've ever had. If if the eye had passed on the west side of the Kalashu ship channel, the southerly wind would have blown all the water up. It stayed on the east side. Yeah. And so, so you had east winds, west winds, and north winds working rather than south winds. Got, the got a little bit lucky. That's what I've heard from some people. Thank you all very much. We'll be making another stop soon. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you very much.
All right, folks. Thank you so much to the Patriots that actually stayed at the live stream. Absolutely no one had a had a microphone at all. The only person that pre- the had a microphone was President Trump because they're they're making sure that they conserve as much energy as they possibly can, as much electricity as they possibly can. And uh, President Trump was the only one. Um, all the live streams, all the other live streams were all choppy and, and you know, uh, the internet wasn't good and stuff like that, yet everyone stayed. Nobody ever left. Uh, but we have one tiny hiccup and boom, everybody leaves. I do not understand that. But we try our best. I just wanted to let you guys know we try our best to make sure to give you guys the best experience here at Golden State Times. But it looks like cheats, scammers... And uh, people that do the things the wrong way always win. So we're working very, very hard. We're the only live stream on YouTube that is ad-free. There's absolutely no one else that can say that. And uh, But like I said, we're going to try our best to continue live streaming the way that we do and the way that we do things. But it's good to know that uh, cheaters and scammers and lowlifes and one-trick ponies always win.